welcome to photographer's group lesson number seven, which uh, involves using the tripod. Um, I use these quick release plates because uh, a lot of times in the studio, I take the camera on and off the tripod to do handheld things in a hurry, um, to get detail shots and uh, to follow people around if I'm shooting a portrait. I rarely, I don't use the tripod for portraits. I only use it for products. Um, the um, I use these uh, quick release plates. What you do is you, you see the bottom of the camera, there's a screw. And if you look at the bottom of the plate, there's a there's an arrow, you can barely see that, it says lens. And you, you put this bolt into that, you sort of finger tighten it a little bit until it till it's threads. Then you have to slide it all the way forward, otherwise it won't marry to the uh, to the base plate there. Then you or to the uh, plate. So then you you tighten that with a coin. Not too tight, just get it in there good. You do need to tighten this one a little bit more than um, you would tighten just anything because uh, these do have a tendency with le with uh, the weight of the, the lens to slip, 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 and that just creates problems on the shoot. So get that on there good and tight, test it that it doesn't twist, and then um, now we'll talk about the tripod a little bit. Um, I have a lot of tripods. I'm also infamous for losing tripods on location, so be careful. Um, this um, this tripod, uh, the Manfrotto, um, you uh, it has these like little notch lot, uh, latches. So you would open it to the appropriate height on the legs. I tend to extend the legs at least one first. Always do the bottom leg before the second leg uh, if you're doing like an eye level shot. You make sure all these things are loosened so that they, they move freely. And you set it. If you see on the side there's a little spirit level bubble, you just kind of you get that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just get it semi level. And uh, you're, uh, you tighten everything down. Now, if we're shooting on the floor, we um, one nice thing about the tripod is we can go really low and flat. So um, I would I would lower the legs. You can just lower the legs like this one at a time. And do the third one. Okay, you get up to a nice low position. Then you would open these up, and you can set the camera down really low. Uh, I tend to use this position uh, a lot in the studio. Low angles are very useful for um, both product photography and people. Um, certain people, models. Um, so you get nice and level again, and uh, then you take the camera and you marry it to the tripod. It's pretty easy. You just uh, you uh, set the camera up like you get behind the tripod like this, and then you. Uh, you tip that into the to the right side of the plate, and you just snap it in. And you'll see on the there's a switch here, and you can if you move that forward, it gets really tight. You can't just it's got a safety switch on it. You just can't loosen it. You have to press this in, pull this back, and then remove the camera. So that's how it works. Um, to do a vertical position on this head, you would uh, I like to keep this switch this back switch towards me because then it's really easy for me to adjust. I just like to reach forward to get to this part. But you can, you can get into these slots like that, um, left and right, for verticals. I tend to use only the left side because that's where the button is. And it's good to set up the tripod in such a way that you're fitting in this little groove here, this, this little chevron shape. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be fighting the, you don't want to be fighting the legs, so always set it up with like a front leg forward, which is also good because it becomes like an aiming device to find the center of items on the, on the stage. So that's it. Your tripod 101. Uh, one more thing, I guess I should I should mention is um, tripod frictions. Um, this this dial is actually meant for friction, so you're supposed to set this to a point where you could easily move it around, but it still holds your camera. And you can crank it down and crank this one down. This this keeps it from spinning. So um, don't want to make it too tight. Then, um, if you wanted to raise and lower it on the back of the tripod, there's this um, there's a dial here that um, has a break on the on the center post, and then you just roll this back till you get to a point where you like the height, and then you you secure it down with this with this switch that keeps it nice and secure. Um, one thing to remember, like if you really wanted to go high, 
it's much better to use the legs and not the center post because the legs are more sturdy than the center post. So um, sometimes you'll see guys, you know, kind of amateurs, they'll have their, they'll have their, they'll have a tripod extended way up like this, which is, which is lame. You don't want to do that. What you'd rather do is keep it low and uh, instead just adjust your legs to get the height that you want, which is like that. There it is.